everyone. Um, I believe that many of you should have this small cup in your purse, but how much do you know about it? Uh, today we are going to introduce more about it to you. So uh, since the Stone Age, people have been using different forms of money uh, to exchange values. And at the uh, beginning, uh, first barter is, was used, and then shell, metal, banknotes, and coins are uh, used. And at the, in the late uh, 19th century, um, the, there are electronic money invented, and in Hong Kong, the most uh, popular one is called Octopus Card. So how is Octopus Card related to business field? First of all, it can be used in many kinds of payment, like transportation, uh, retail shops, and restaurants. Also, it can be um, Octopus Card uh, over a reward system for the customers, in which the customers may earn points when they're doing some purchases in certain shops, like welcome. And also, um, they may have some discounts when they are doing um, bus, bus interchange, uh, when they are traveling on some bus routes. And then there are also different kinds of uh, form, uh, different forms of uh, the autopass card. Um, there are some uh, smaller size uh, autopass card, and there are some accessory like, and it gives a lot of business to many of the company to decide uh, different forms of uh, autopass card for the OHL. So autopass cards is also related to the society. Uh, first of all, it can be used for the attendance record for schools or some offices. It can be also used as the identification for SSS schools and buildings. Uh, Octopus cards can also be used for non-business payment. Like uh, if you want to uh, donate some money in the flat selling, you can set the amount at the uh, reader and then you can transfer your money there. Let me talk about the impact doing for using the Octopus card. For using Autopass card, company can and enjoy something which is reducing time and the cost to count the coins and exchange the coins into the bank notes in the bank. Also, when they want to use Autopass card for accept any payment, they can and just counting the balance easier because they just click the uh, button to find the final balance is okay. But they still have some negative effects for using Autopass card. Because of using Autopass card to count the payments, they need to use their machine to record and then they go to the main office of the Autopass card and then to record all transactions. Also, as they are paying the exam value to using Autopass card, no extra tips are paid. It is much important in the catering industry. Also, for the card users, they also have some impact on them. As the autobus card are established, they are, can enjoy the discounts by uh, in, by participating in the uh, rewarding scheme, like the autobus reward scheme. Also, they are convenient as they can use in many places, but not only for buying things. For like another thing, I uh, introduced by Kathleen before. Also, they are efficient. As they are using the touchless uh, transaction, they can have the instant payment, and also they need not to pick out their Octopus card every time for any if places which using the Octopus card. But for the negative if view, the individuals who, who use the Octopus card may think that they are not using the real money. Therefore, they seldom check their balance for each payment. Also, for the Octopus card users, when they go to the uh, um, machine and then charging up a uh, payment, they may have some deduction error due to the uh, fault of machine. Therefore, the money deducted may not be the same as the, the actual money they paid, but deduct extra money. Also, there are privacy problems in it. As they join the reward scheme in uh, organized by the Autopass card, they may have the child, but the Autopass company may can 
tried their customers buying habits in it. Therefore, they can trace them in order to uh, make something to invade their privacy. So let me talk about more. Uh, let me talk more about the technology of AutoPass to you. Uh, first of all, uh, AutoPass card use RSID technologies, which which is also known as radio frequency identification, and it uses Sony uh, 13.56 megahertz Bivica RFID chips, and it uses long-standard system for RFID. Um, for AutoPass card, it uh, needs touchless transaction. That means you don't have to exactly put your um, AutoPass card on the reader. Also for the uh, transaction transmission, um, it uses the frame relay LI area network to the MTR's quarter. That means the uh, reader has to be returned to the main office every day. Uh, but after talking about the AutoPass card's technology used, I also want to talk about the differences between the AutoPass card and, and the other kind of electronic money. We have divided into three types. For the data transmission rates, uh, the AutoPass cards are transmitted 221 kilobits per second, while the other contest smart card, for example, like one that's a Visa Cash, can only transmit 9.6 kilo bits per second. Another hand, for the card storage capacity, AutoPass card can and store 64 kilobytes, but for the traditional magnetic stripe cards, they only they stored 125 bytes, which is about uh, five, one or over 500 times for the that AutoPass card does. Uh, also, for the AutoPass card, they use the brand new technology as before that, there are no similar type of uh, chips or other system can be used before. Therefore, they must invent it for another new type of uh, technology. But after the autonomous card has been established, because it is so common for use then and become more popular, it become a trend for using this kind of touchless electronic money such that it as the model of another kind of electronic money in other world, in the other parts of the world. So why is Autopass, cost, Autopass card so successful? Uh, first of all, uh, the Hong Kong people's adaptability contributed, contributed, contributed <laughs> a lot into it. Um, because um, before the inception of Autopass card, there was already a kind of store value card in Hong Kong, and people had been uh, adapted to it for already. So uh, people can adapt it to using Autopass card very quickly after its start. And then uh, around 1997, uh, when the Autopass card is, was launched, um, there was a common belief that the old coins will be appreciated and people have the habit of keeping the old coins so uh, there was a lack of coins in the local market. And third, uh, as Autopass card really brings a lot of convenience to the customers that it is highly compatible, it can be used in many areas, people really love it very much. After talking about the Autopass card's current situation and its parts, let me talk about what they will develop with and uh, Autopass card system still develop. For our point of view, we think that the Autopass card may be used in the online payment. For like for the procedures I have stated in the PowerPoint. First, set up the online account for the Autopass card. Then we go to the on online shops to buy things and then use Autopass account to pay this kind of subject, but this kind of objects. Then we can also use the Autopass card to transfer money to another Autopass account, like the we done get the bank account. Also, we can have some combination with other kind of electronic money systems. For example, when we combine with the credit cards, we can allow cash transaction by practice and then and clear the credits by monthly. Also, it allows the withdrawal of money in the from the autopass card, which is like similar to the uh, 
uh, what we have done in the ATL. Uh, besides, we think that uh, we can also add some uh, personal information to the Octopus card. But before this, we can we should have a more security level uh, for Octopus card. Uh, to doing so, we may to doing so. To do so, we may add some fingerprint information into the card. So we may check the uh, fingerprint when we are extracting some important information from the card, um, so that it. We can prevent the misuse of Octopus card by the others when we miss the card. So that's the end of our presentation. Thank you.